Hello, Big Hero. Welcome back to Poetry Readings with Hope Pennington. Um, going to be reading through poetry I wrote when I was a teenager. It's very en enlight en enlightening, insightful. Yeah. All that. <laughs> I was going in chronological order, but the last one, the Army Girls one that I read, was from two years after the previous ones, and this is all jumbled up, so I'm just going to read them. They all fall somewhere from 2013 to 2016 somewhere in there um so yeah well the story behind this is i uh i wrote tons of poetry when i was a teenager and i never published any of it or did anything with any of it so i thought i might as well read some for the channel so here we go i haven't looked at a lot of this for a long time this one was is called away I pushed her away, the one person, my last chance at love. To every worry I told her, she met with love. Every compliment she corrected with thanksgiving to above. Everything she said, I met with anger and tears. Hurt, I wanted her embrace, but I couldn't tell her. Her to hurt, for fear she'd hurt me worse with her happy words. So I told her no, I told her to go. I ran away, told her to stay. But all I want is for her to come find me. I want her to, I want to see her accepting smile and grip her tiny round shoulders in a cushy warm hug. Cause I know everything she says is true, but it burns, everything will be all right. I pushed her away, the one person, my last chance at love. To every worry I told her, she met it with love. Every compliment she corrected with thanksgiving to above. Everything she said, I met with anger and tears. Hurt, I wanted her embrace. But I couldn't tell her my hurt for fear she'd hurt me worse with her happy words. So I told her no, I told her to go, I ran away, told her to stay. But all I want is for her to come find me. I want to see her accepting smile and grip her tiny round shoulders in a cushy warm hug. Cause I know everything she says is true, but it burns, everything will be alright. Cause I love her for all she's made me, stronger, happier, less lonely. I'd be lost without you. Oh, I remember what that was about. <sighs> black fairy. A black fairy, as ashen as soot, whispers like the rippling brook. When she is near, her breath it beats upon my cheeks in steady stream. Her darkness burns a bloody red, violent pictures in her head. Before her teeth I only pine, our violent death is love divine. For with each threat she binds my heart, no poisoned sword our bond can part. For if I'll die, my love to go on, so be it then, and count me one. For her to live and blossom bright, I would do wrong as soon as right. My empress purple, my soul is yours, no power of realms could grant rebirth. Like you have birthed into my heart, my mind you own, my life thou art. So stay with me and hold me close, don't ever say it can't be so. For I would do all things you wished, be it for your smallest whim. Believe that these aren't lovers' games, my heart bleeds free for yours to claim. My soul wants ice shards, worms now whole, if only your face to behold. My one, my one, my soul, my all. So there's that. So funny remembering where these things came from, but most of the sources are a bit too personal to explain. But you can appreciate the poetry and relate it to whatever you want to relate it to. And this one's called Butterfly. <clears throat> she's like a butterfly, blood on her wings, and she drags herself down. She thinks she's still the cocoon. I'm lifting her up, but she can't feel. I'm the third wheel to her misery, and she can't help it, pretty soul. I want to be her home. So if I can't take her up with me, I'll go down with her. I'll kick and scream, I'll dream her dream, I'll try to see, I'll try to set her free. Sometimes my words bite like daggers, then I have to leave, but I hope and try to believe. She knows what I mean. It's a pretty rosy pain she gives to me that I wouldn't trade for anything. She thinks she's a monster. Truth is, they are not you. You're my bloody queen. 
I'll never leave you, your lovely purple rosy side. Your sorrow is a sign of deep love that hurts me in the best way. I want nothing more. I'd burn the world for you. Then at the last moment it gags me. The people hurt me. I swallow my hurt and I'll be a monster, a jerk, a failure. I scream and kick those that try to help me till they all hate me. And they're all gone and they're okay with that. They're okay without me. But I can't escape. I can't escape me. Then I see her. So if she can't take me up with her, she goes down with me. I kick and scream. She dreams my dream. She tries to see. She tries to set me free. Sometimes her words bite me like daggers. Then she has to leave. But I know, I know too. <laughs> but I know, I too know, I know what she means. It's a pretty rosy pain she gives to me that I wouldn't trade for anything. I think I'm a monster, but the truth is they are not us. I'm your bloody queen. I see you'll never leave my up ugly purple rosy side. You say my sorrow is the sign of deep love that hurts in the best way. I want nothing more. I'd burn the world for you. We'll burn the world. Light it up. We'll rule the world. They don't have to understand. We're not weak. We're deep and strong. We're the underground and we refuse to drown. We deserve the crown. So if I can't take you up with me, we'll go down, we'll kick and scream, we'll dream our dream, we'll try to see, we'll try to be set free. Sometimes our words bite like daggers, then we have to leave, but I hope, I believe, we know what it means. It's a pretty rosy pain we give, we see, that we wouldn't trade for anything. We think we're monsters, truth is they are not us, we're kings and queens. I'll never leave your lovely purple rosy side. Your sorrow is the sign of deep love that hurts in the best way. I want nothing more. I'd burn the world for you. Let's burn the world and set it free. No matter how low we go, I'm always there for you. You're always there for me. We're trapped. We're not free, but we do believe we're a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. Kind of dra emotionally draining to read all these. But I think it's why it's so therapeutic to write them in the first place, because they are so true. I don't remember how many poems I've read at this point, but I'm going to stop here for now and see you next time.